Salut mes amis. This video will teach you how to create your own sticker and be able to add it to the workshop. For this tutorial, we're going to focus on making a glossy paper backed sticker and a holographic sticker. We're going to use Photoshop and VTF edits, so you need both. You can use a free trial for Photoshop and VTF edit is completely free. And remember, follow my steps and do exactly the way I do. Let's start by making the glossy paper backed sticker. Create a folder in your root directory called sticker. It should look like this. Now create a new image, choose 1024x1024 1024 as the exact dimensions. Add your PNG image into the new project and remove the background image. You can adjust it so it's in the center. Mark the background with the magic wand tool and align layer 2 selection. From here you can center your logo. When that's done, save the file as a Photoshop template. PSD and put it into your sticker folder. Call it source.psd. Now save it as a PNG file and name it 1024x1024. 1024. Put it in the same folder. Now open VTF edit and import the file. Don't change anything, just press OK. From here, the image can look very weird, but you need to ignore this. What's more important now is that you go under Flags, select No Mip Map, No Level of Detail, and make sure that the 8-bit alpha is checked. Now, we're gonna go to the official documentation that I have linked in the video description. Go to Glossy Paperbacked Stickers and copy this code. Now create a notepad and paste the code inside. Now you need to change the base texture. First of all, add this code. Now you need to add the path to your VTF file. My path looks like this. Remember not to use backslash, only use forward slash. Now save the file as a VMT. Choose save, save as type, all files and put VMT in the end. Make sure you save it in the sticker folder and name the VMT file the same as your sticker. To make sure the sticker works, go to Steam, Tools, download the CSGO SDK and run the model viewer. Now load model, open the sticker underscore preview folder and select any gun from here. You can now go to Materials, select one of the letters, and replace the VMT file to see how it looks. Now to be able to upload it to the workshop, you need at least two different styles for your sticker. One must be style 1 or 2, the basic styles. And one must be style 3 or 4. We have already created one with style 1, which is glossy paper backed. So now we're gonna focus on style 3 and create a holographic sticker as well. So open your 1024x1024 image in Photoshop and select the logo. I do this by choosing the wand tool, click outside the logo and right click and say invert selection. This will select the logo. When you have selected your logo you need to copy it. Now go to channels and create a new layer using this icon. Use the paint bucket tool to color the inside of the logo white. Now delete all the channels in here and leave the alpha channel alone. You can select the channels separately and delete them. Now create three new channels. Call them red, green, and blue. Select the channel red and paste your logo with Ctrl V. Do the same thing for green and blue. The order of the channels must be red, green, blue, and then alpha in the bottom. So let's begin with channel red. The red channel will tell the sticker where the hollow effect should be applied to. 
If you have something on your logo that you don't want the hollow effect to be on, you paint it black. In my example, I'm painting the banana black because I don't want it to be touched by the holographic effect. If, however, you have something on your logo that you want the hollow effect on, paint it white. Now I'm just gonna take my time and paint some areas. Now select the green channel. The green channel will add more detail to our holographic effect. The black color will give you a sharper effect. And the white color will give you less of a sharp effect. You can play around with this if you want, but I feel like I don't need to. Let's go to the channel blue. The blue channel controls the saturation of the holographic effect. If you paint something completely black, it will be very saturated, meaning it will show many colors. If you want something that doesn't show too many colors of the holographic effect, paint it white. This is okay for me. When you feel like you're done, select all the channels, go to Image, Mode, RGB. Next, save the image as a TGA. Name it the same way you named your sticker, but add hollow in the end and put that file in the sticker folder. Change the base texture to the exact same path as your previous sticker, but add the new path to your new VTF in the Hollow Mask row. So basically, like this. Save the file as a VMT, and with the same name as your new VTF file. That's it! You are done with your Hollow sticker. Woohoo! To publish the stickers, go in game and type in the console workshop underscore publish. Here you need to add all the files. It's very important not to miss a single file here or you won't be able to proceed. Remember to add a picture, a title, and a description to your sticker. And that's it. Wasn't so hard, right? If you liked my tutorial and you want to show some support, please vote for my sticker in the Steam Workshop. The sticker is called Go Bananas. I would really appreciate your help. You will find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.